Today we're going to tackle a really easy one. I'm going to show you how to convert a Word or Excel file to a Google Doc or Sheet. Stay tuned. all these office files that we've been working with for years but we want to use them in Google now there's nothing that says that you have to convert your files over to Google Docs and Sheets because of Google Drive file stream you can continue to use your word files just like you have however there are some advantages to using Google Docs and, and I'll dive into that a little bit as we get going but the biggest one that I want to talk about up front is collaboration it is so easy to share a file and work together in a file if it's in the Google format uh, having a Google Doc, you can have that shared with multiple people. You can all be editing that document, uh, the, whether it's a doc or a sheet or a slides, whatever that is. You can all be in there at the same time working on it. You can't do that with an Office file. So let's start off with getting some files over, and, and I'll show you how to convert, and then uh, we'll talk about maybe a few details that will be important as we go. All right, so first off, I've got an Excel file sitting out here uh, right on my desktop, and I want to get that into my Google Drive. So um, first, easiest step, I've already got Google Drive file stream on here. Uh, I showed that in a previous video, so if you haven't seen that yet, please go take a look. Um, first thing I'm going to do is open my file explorer. That's the little folder looking icon down here in my system tray. And I want to open my Google Drive. So over here, my quick access, or if I look down here under this PC, I'll find my Google Drive file stream. Click on that. I'm going to go into my drive. And I've got my folders and my files, everything set up the way that I want. Um, I want to add this Excel file. So I'm just going to click and drag that over here. I've got my Excel document now in my Google Drive. Just that simple. Uh, now, one thing to note, because I just used a click and drag, it only did a copy. Uh, that doesn't cut the file. So it's actually two different files in two different locations. I would encourage you, if you are doing this process, cut and paste instead. And let me show you that. I'm going to delete this file that I just moved over. I would right click and cut from the, the source, which in this case is my desktop, and right click and paste in my Google Drive. What that's gonna do is it's gonna copy it over but delete it from the original location so I don't have two copies of the same file. Then I don't get confused because if I make changes as one, in one, it's not gonna reflect in the other if I were to leave it that way. Um, in this scenario, everything live now is in my Google Drive so I know that any changes I make are active and available to me over here. Okay, so I have this in my Google Drive. Um, I am done with Google Drive file stream at this point. I need to go to my drive on the web. So I've got my, my drive.google.com here, or I can go to the nine dots and get to drive. And I see, again, here's all my folders, and my file is already showing up in here. So this is still an Excel file. You can tell that the extension is still on here. And to the left, there's an X on here. That means it's an Excel file. Uh, Word document is going to be similar. It's going to have a W on there. It'll be blue instead of green. Um, now, I want to convert this to a Google Doc. So I am going to open this, uh, but I'm not going to just double click to open it. I'm going to open with Google Sheets. So again, I, I right click on my file, I go to open with, and I click on Google Sheets. What this does is it opens my file, it does the conversion, and it's now in Google Sheet format, but it does not destroy my original file. So if I'm worried about formatting or data that's in there, if there's something that I'm not sure about, the great benefit here is all it's doing is making a copy of my data and converting it into Google Sheets so that I have that file again. So here is my Excel document. You can see all my formatting came over. I have all my colors, my shading, my, my cell highlights, everything is, is all there, which is great. Um, if I go back over here to my drive, I can see now that I've got my demo Excel file. That's the original. Um, but I also have my demo with no extension here and this kind of crossbar. That is a Google Sheet. That's what that means. So I have both files here, and once I'm comfortable that I've converted it, everything's there, all my formatting is accurate the way that I want, I can simply delete my old Excel file at that point, and I'm okay. So um, it gives me time. I tend to wait you know, a week, make sure I don't run across anything that I'm too worried about, and then I'll go back and delete those files after I convert them. So that, quite simply, is how you convert it. You do the exact same thing with Word files over to Google Docs. Um, you would right-click on a, a Word document, 
and the option under open with is going to be open with Google Docs. And it'll do that same thing where it makes a copy. Um, one last thing that I want to talk about, and the biggest reason why I like to convert my documents over to the Google format is that once I've done this, I now have all of my version history on my Google Sheet anytime I make a change. Now, because I just uploaded this file, I'm not going to have any changes in my Google Sheet. But if you recall from one of my previous videos, I talked about how to restore previous versions of a Google document. You can do up to 100 of the last previous changes that you've done on a document when it's in Google format. You don't get that necessarily from Word documents and Excel documents. So not only is the sharing a great benefit, but also being able to restore previous versions of a file is huge. So that's how you convert files. It's really quick and simple. Some great reasons on why you want to do that. I hope you have fun converting your documents.